We're gonna look at a chest lift, but using your arms in a full arm arc to do it. So you might wanna grab a pillow for the back of your head, but you're gonna come down to lie on your back, knees are bent, and your feet are just somewhere comfortable, in a comfortable distance away from you, and roughly in line with your sit bones. So the width between your feet is roughly the width between your sit bones. Now, from there, just let yourself settle, hands by the side of you, and you're gonna just allow the very base of you, so the bit that's facing your feet, to the very back of you to just settle into the floor. And you can close your eyes for this, we're gonna do a little bit of prep, but I just want you to allow those three heavy uh, points to sink. And all we're gonna do is pick up our hands and we're gonna take them back over your head so your thumbs are touching the floor. And then you're gonna bring them all the way back down again so your palms are touching the floor. So I want you to do that a few times and I want you to see what happens to your rib cage. So if the very back of you, so this back part of your rib cage, does it change as your arms are moving? And for most of us, what will happen is your arms go over the floor and your hands actually touch. You'll feel the lower part of your ribs get a little bit lighter and you might be coming into a little bit of extension and that's okay. But as you come back, you'll feel that that rib cage meets the floor again. So I just want you to feel that for me. Take your time with it. And we are gonna go past that range of movement you've got in your shoulders. So it's, it's an exaggerated version of your arm arcs. And you're really looking to see if you can feel that rib cage move. So we're not stopping it going anywhere. So what you can see when you do this is as you take your hands above your head, we're encouraging extension in your spine. But as we take our hands back towards our feet, we're encouraging flexion in our spine. And that's how we're gonna bring in our chest lift. So I'm gonna get you to take your hands, palms towards each other, fingers up towards the ceiling, and they should feel comfortable. And they're a comfortable width apart, so roughly those arms are on the outside of your body, on the outside of your shoulders. And we are gonna do the arm arc part here. So again, let the back of the shoulders sink and we're gonna find that control. So take the hands behind the head and they may not touch the floor this time, unless you really stretch your thumbs. And as you breathe out, allow your gaze to follow your middle fingers. Keep letting it follow your middle fingers and you'll probably come up into a little chest lift. Keep letting your gaze follow your middle fingers as you take your arms back up towards the ceiling and at some point you're gonna lose it and they'll go behind you. And we're gonna do that again. So at some point as you gaze up towards the sky, your middle fingers will come into view, keep following them so we'll turn through those ears which will turn through that rib cage to come up. And then keep following those middle fingers as the gaze goes back up towards the sky. We're gonna do that one more time for me. And you might find that using your exhale breath facilitates that and helps that. But we're using that arm arc to bring us into flexion and we're using the arm arc to eventually take us back into flat. We're gonna encourage that movement a little bit more. So again, take those hands up towards the ceiling, use your gaze, turn your ears, your rib cage will turn, your hands are reaching towards your feet. Hold on to the back of your thighs for me and pull wide into your arms. You'll come up into a little bit more flexion. You can shake your head and make sure you're not taking too much tension there. And if it is a little bit sore, just look towards your pubic bone a bit more. From here, we're gonna be strong in those arms. So reach those fingers to touch your shins. And then again, arms start to go up. Follow your fingers with your gaze and you will come back down again. And again, so you might wanna use your exhale breath, but feel that that gaze can help you come up into flexion. Pull wide. Keep those feet on the floor for me and see if you can let your tummy just fall back towards your spine. Again, reach those fingers towards your shins and then can you stay up? And at what point do you need to start to come down? We're gonna go again. So we all know how to get up. We're gonna pull ourselves wide. Now this is the point where you're gonna find 
where do your shoulders start to make you extend? So reach your hands towards your shins. Can you delay yourself going backwards as the arms start to come up? And there will be a point where you have to come down, not because the abs have failed you, but because you've got no more shoulder range. Ready? We're gonna do a couple more of those. So swing those arms. It's like they're going in a big rainbow, a big arm arc, all the way up, using that breath, that strength you're pulling from the back of your arms, almost those armpit muscles to get you up. Again, reach those hands forward. They're gonna allow you to stay up and then move the arms, delaying the body until you have to go back down again. One more of those. Now, if you find you're holding your breath with this, try counting, try singing. You might be on your own. And just try letting something come out of your mouth. You really want to have your voice really nice and smooth because then we know we're working those abdominals really nicely. Pause at the top. Just let those arms really hang back. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch so you can feel your abs let go. And then as you're ready, bring your hands back to your side and relax. Well done.